Hey YouTube land, this is Tychondrius here doing another toy review. Now, um, might sound a bit off at the moment because I'm feeling a bit under the weather. But hopefully, I'll be right as rain in a couple of days time. But this, as I said, I was going to continue on the NECA Planet of the Apes series figure reviews. And this is for... I decided to do two of these together, so this is for the same character, but they released them twice in two slightly different versions. So this is for the Dr. Zeus figure. So, both figures, I'll get onto the packaging quickly. Both figures come in very similar packaging. In fact, the colouring of the packaging is exactly the same, practically. It has this kind of tan beige colour. On the side of the packaging, it has this symbol for... I think it's supposed to be for the science division, it says Dr. Zaya 7 inch um, seven inch figures and this is where apparently they were purchased from and then uh, Planet of the Apes up in the corner flipping around to the back of the box this is the box for the series 2 Captain Zaya if I believe um, let me just flip around, yeah this is the box for the series 2 but um, the insert is actually for the Series 1, and uh, they got mixed about. So you have, for Series 2, you've got General Ursus, who I'm going to review on his own. Uh, Zera, who I'll review as well. And Dr. Zeus V2, which is version 2. Now, as far as I know, I think the V2 is actually supposed to be um, Dr. Zeus as he appears in the second film. So he's a little bit older. He's not the same as he was in the first one. But uh, you have Minister of Science in charge of advancing ape knowledge knowledge and chief defender of the faith he has access to ancient scrolls and other information not given to the ape masses this knows the true origins of the ape society and how humanity fell from its position as a dominant species and you have an image of the apes costume on the back of the box and you have statue of liberty and picture of charlton Heston as taylor at near the end of the original film where he actually finds the destroyed Statue of Liberty and he does the whole I was like, you blew it all to pieces you damn I was like, damn you, you blew it all to pieces I think is the line he says so this is the box for the first version of Dr. Zeus unfortunately the, um, the scroll actually comes with the second alright, no, actually the scroll comes with the first version of him and the second version only comes with the walking stick so Again, it's a very similar coloured packaging. It actually denotes the uniform that he wears in the um, in the movie because if I bring in the one for Cornelius, again, the box is actually green like his uniform. And the ones for Ursus and the Ape Soldier are actually purple boxes. So again, you got the same symbol on the side of the V2. Yep, the V2, oh, sorry, the V1 box. I'm getting them mixed up. Um, so on the back you got series one figures, so again you got Cornelius, Gorilla Soldier, and Dr. Zeus. It's the exact same image on the back with the ape face, Char um, Charlton Heston on the ground, and the destroyed Statue of Liberty. And the read up is, let me just quickly skim through it, I think it's exactly the same. Yeah, it's the exact same read up as the other box. Uh, just on the bottom of the boxes you have all these uh, legalese stuff, just so you can see you know the planet apes NECA real toys then the production company or the sculptors and people involved with creating figures and they're pretty interesting window side uh, window box packaging now when I get on to my gorilla soldier review um, the first gorilla soldier I have I don't still have his packaging unfortunately the interesting about that packaging is was actually the clamshell kind of blister card style whereas the box that came with the second soldier that I picked up is actually the more standard um, box with the window style box so I'll get on to the accessories so this is version 2 he comes with a cane he just he's just comes with a cane. He doesn't come with the scrolls, so and it fits quite nicely into either his left or right hand. Uh, the left, I think, the right hand is more designed for holding it. In the version one, comes with the very same cane, but I think it's slightly darker pa painted, uh, just a slight bit darker. You can see it's actually sculpted to have like little knob, little nodules on it for like the wood effect and stuff like that. 
but other than that it's the same cane but the only extra accessory that the version 1 comes with that the second one doesn't is this scroll case now I just grab the one that's on Cornelius Oop, before it drops out of my hand you can see it's the exact same scroll case that came with the Cornelius figure so there's no difference between the two so I'll just leave that back up there so onto the figures themselves so what they did with the version 1 figure is they I think they did something similar what they did with um, Cornelius where they actually sculpted the they had a body and then they kind of did a rubberized kind of tunic over the body and sculpted that so he still retains some of his articulation points over the body but um, the waistcoat on them is non removable whereas if you look at the version 2 you just take the stick out of his hand because I know it's probably going to fall off the version 2 is actually wearing an actual removable waistcoat piece now the only thing is with this if you take off the kind of waistcoat or the outer coat you'd be left with the colouring for the coat arms on the on the arms um, the other thing is the version 1 actually has gloved hands whereas the version 2 actually has un ungloved hands and the head um, I like what NECA did, they didn't just reuse the same head on both figures. You can actually see that they used two different head sculpts. Uh, the second head sculpt looks a little bit older, um, not as uh, not the same as the f Series 1 version, where you can still see it's the same character, just looks a slight bit older. In fact, there's a slight height difference between the two. Um, if I bring, just move them off the side. Mm -hmm. oh, there goes this roll case. Line them up side by side. Oh, bear with me a moment. There's just a minuscule height difference between the two. Just barely a hair between them. So it's kind of like as if showing the age of the character. You know, he's slightly younger. He's still uh, growing, and then he's older in the second one. Um. I love the attention to detail again. He actually, as I said, this version, the version 2, has the little ape boots with the kind of toes on it and the side toe and stuff like that. Whereas the first version, which is swinging his boot, the sculpting on his boots, he has kind of these long, kind of horse rider style boots with these kind of two toe kind of things on the front where the the kind of ape toes would be. He doesn't have the side toe, so I'm not sure how. Uh, uncomfortable his feet would be in that sort of situation if the other ones have kind of a large toe at the side these ones don't but um, Arti he has as I said he has these gloved hands with the uh, symbols sculpted onto them which is quite nice so and then the other one has does he have anything? no he doesn't have anything on his back but the um, version 2 then has kind of symbols sculpted onto his outer jacket going down the sides and he has a few on his back as well, which is quite nice. So, articulation wise, they're pretty much similar. So, you have a ball jointed head, you can get a bit more range of movement out of the first version because his head can go down up a bit, not too up, but can go side to side a bit. Um, the jacket is a little bit, um, is not as heavy on the vigor, so you got a bit more range of articulation. Arms can go out to the side. You can swivel all the way around. You've got single joint elbows. So you can get just, it's not quite a 90 degree bend, but you can get a close to 90 degree bend. He has ball jointed hands. So his both hands can grip onto the, the scroll case and the, the walking stick. But the version two, um, hands are way better sculpted for holding the walking stick so you have the um, the best way to put the walking stick in the version 1 hands is to put it through and have them holding it like this and you can also hold, if I just get into his hand as I said, you can hold a scroll case again, just like with Cornelius 
because of the way it's sculpted and because of the way it looks, it looks like he's holding like a baton sort of thing or in a, a club, but uh, he can hold the scroll cases. Then getting down to the bottom of the figure, he can do a wide stance on his uh, splits and he can go forward. His forward and back is a bit hindered because of the sculpting of the waistcoat, it goes down over the um, articulation point. Uh, he does have a waist, so we'll actually, before we continue on with legs, he can't really get into a seated position and his legs don't really go too far back, but he can do a bit of splits. So, if I can do that. Um, then he has single jointed knees, you can get maybe just not a 90 degree bend on the knee as well. And then he has kind of ball rocker jointed feet, so he can do rotate all the way around and can go left to right on the foot. So you got a good range of movement on the feet. And if I just put his uh, walking cane, I tried to keep his walking cane in his hand. And the only thing is, I, in the movie, I don't remember him even having a walking cane. It's possible that it's something that he acquires in the second film, and that I don't remember him actually having a walking cane in the first film. But um, he could have had it for a few seconds, kind of thing. But the second figure is quite is fairly similar. His head is on a ball joint, but because the waistcoat or the overcoat is a bit more thicker than the um, version 1 you don't get as good uh, ball joint rocker movement on it he still has the waist swivel in underneath which is quite tight and can kind of hinge back and forth he has similar arm contraction for the ball socket at the joints on the shoulder so he can go out single jointed elbows again he suffers from similar issues. Now his left hand, or right hand can go full 90 where his right hand is just off the full 90 degree bend. As I said his hands are better sculpted for the walking stick because if you look you can actually hold it a lot better in his right hand. He can hold it in the left but it's a looser fit so it's not as as grippy. You probably can hold it. Yeah you can hold it. In fact he it's very loose so he doesn't really hold it that well at all. Uh, his hands are on the ball joints as again so he has a bit of wiggle to him and can move up and down a slight bit. It's a bit hindered because of the way the jacket is sculpted. It, kind of, it goes out over where the actual arm connects into. The arm connects in back here so the, the ball joint is actually slightly hindered. Legs you can almost get a good seating position. He has the kind of upper rotation or the standard neck and hip joints so you can go forward to back there's a swivel at the top of the hip which I generally tend not to move and then he has the the splits section as well and then you got single jointed knees and the same ball jointed kind of rocker ankles that the uh, version one uh, version one ZS has as well so all in all I really like the figure um, I do prefer the face sculpt on the version 1, it seems to have a bit more natural look to it. The version 2, his skin tone kind of looks very similar to the um, colour system that they used for his feet and coat and stuff and the parts of his jacket. So it kind of tends to blend in whereas with version 1 his jacket is fairly different colouring to his to the skin tone that he used, they used on his face. But overall, I think they're a great figure. Um, as I said, if they are, they've been out for a little while now, and I'm been, I was kind of slow on the uptake to pick them up, only because I wasn't too big a fan of the generic characters. I was more of a the gorilla soldier, ape soldier uh, fan. But overall, they're fantastically sculpted figures. They're really well done. And they look great on display, and they look great uh, in with other seven-inch figures. So there you go guys, there's just a quick video review for the Dr. Zeus uh, version 1, version 2 figures made by NECA. Um, as I said, if you like, like the video, click like. If you want to subscribe to the video to my channel, feel free to subscribe and feel free to comment in the comment section below. Hope you enjoyed the review guys.